what's going on guys welcome to the electro demo channel where we talk about uh, living off the land in areas of uh, getting on water in areas of growing your own food in areas of uh, making your own um, homes uh, with um, echo technology and finally transportation uh, for example electric cars so we're going to talk about this um, black kid that I know and before we start to say uh, thanks to all my subscribers you know I really really appreciate you um, if you haven't subscribed and you're thinking about subscribe I want to say thank to you too uh, because this channel is very important to changing the narrative you know we've seen all the problems we've we've had with people with uh, stereotypes with people with prejudice so this is about empowering um, ourselves and to change the narrative you know make things um, different so I really really uh, want to say thanks again I really do appreciate uh, you subscribing all right so this uh, kid that I know um, uh, my understanding was that his parents were from um, Sierra Leone um, and he was born in Brooklyn New York and he likes to tinker he just loved to, um, I, I believe he started with some simple circuits. Like, the, you know this, you remember this, the little uh, um, battery and a switch and a light bulb, when if it's open like this, you know, you know, you wire, we wire it up together and then when you close the switch, it lights up. Well, this kid was just so fascinated with this technology and he just kept on tinkering with, with um, circuits like this. Then he found out later on that the light bulb that you see here, if you change it with a, a motor and you press that switch, the motor starts to spin. Um, and you remember these, you probably, if you um, used to tinker like this kid, um, you probably went into these old toys and got motors that look like this right here. And you could use to open them up. You remember that? So my understanding was this kid. This kid was like that. So um, according to my understanding, this kid um, went to a place called Coney Island, and this is at the East Coast in New York. And they had bumper cars, and this kid was just fascinated by these bumper cars because they were first of all they were built tough because you know obviously they're bumper cars they just kept on bumping all over the place and they remember i talked about that little switch that on off switch that when you press it the motor would turn he recognized that and he asked his dad he said is this the same thing as the circuit board where if you press that switch the the um, car would go and his dad said yeah and he said, man, that is so cool. So I could make I could make a big um, a car and drive it out in the street. And his dad said, yeah, I guess so. So that's how this kid started doing this thing. And this was this was way back in uh, my understanding. This was way back in the 70s. So this is like 20 to 30 years before Tesla. He started having this this thing. Now, of course, electric cars have been around for a while, but I remember this channel is about changing the narrative you know here's this black uh skinny kid uh working on electric cars that basically grew up around the um the ghetto ish neighborhood neighborhood that that um if you look at the surface you would have no idea this kid was uh, basically a tinkerer so later on as the kid got older he went ahead and started building his first car. The first car that he built, because um, he was always thinking about this electric car, was this um, this this little tricycle right here. Uh, so he built this this uh, tricycle, and he was able to get a nice little tricycle like this. And of course, at this time, and you couldn't tell him nothing, you know. He was just, he was just uh, uh, happy that he's got his own car. Then later on, as he got older, 
when he was in his uh, teens. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, they had this, these mini bikes. So he put a, he went to the uh, AutoZone and got a motor and he asked for um, the motor that, that could work as an electric car. Then after he did some research, he found out that um, a Ford, I think it was a 1960 Ford Galaxy. And I got to check on that. Anyway, it was a motor, a starter motor that looks like this. It basically, it was, if you take the gear pinion out, you still have the motor. And he bought it, I think he bought it for, my understanding was, was like 60 bucks or something like that. A lot of money like that. Then he strapped it to the, the frame, as you see here. And, and then he put that, remember that same switch, that on and off switch? It had so much torque that it kept on snapping the chain. So then later on, he got a, uh, a centrifugal uh, switch, something that would soft, soften the, bolt, the, the, uh, the motor speed up. And it would basically, once the motor turns, it would slowly have a nice torque to put the rear wheels. So this was the, the final outcome. He was the happiest um, uh, person. He's got his little mini bike and everything. So then later on, as he was getting older, he said, hey, you know, I got this mini bike. This mini bike is cool. You know, it, it, um, my understanding was it went about 20, 25 miles. Now remember, this is a little mini bike. It went 20 to 25 miles, that's pretty good. So hey, so hey, so so later on he said, well, what else I uh, can I do? Well, then he said, well, uh, I want to I want to do a, a big car, you know, a real big car, like a, a bumper car, a big car. And he said, uh, well, how in the world would he do this kind of stuff? Because you know, cars are expensive. He did some research and, and stuff. Then he, he found out that um, if you buy a foreign car. It could be cheap and the reason for that is because nobody wanted the foreign cars because the um the uh, parts for the foreign cars were very um hard to get in fact there was a, there was a car called the uh, renault le car um some people call it renault 5 but the renault le car here's a picture of it right here and he bought this was this was this car was only about three years old and we know was used to be in the united states i think it was called Renault of america my understanding but they, they went out so when once they went out the the price of the cars fell dirt cheap now i don't know if you know about french cars but french have the best design when it comes to interior luxury it's always comfortable so this kid just fell in love with this car it was beautiful you could see the the pictures right here uh, but then again everything was beautiful the only thing is the car didn't run because the motor was shot so, but then he said, well, hey, I could turn this to an electric car. I don't really care about the motor. And the guy there that was so interested in this uh, little black kid, what he was doing, he said, you know what I'm going to do? Um, um, I'm, since you don't want it, I'm going to use uh, take the engine parts out because I'm going to sell it for parts. And, of course, that was a good deal because he was wondering how he's going to get the stuff out. So he did that. And after you know it, he ended up having an electric car. And electric car, it didn't, it didn't really go too far too far i think it only went for about five miles and he had to charge it up again but it was just one of those things where um, he liked to uh tinker so then later on as he even got older said hey you know what i want a car that's almost kind of new you know he's he uh finished so he said hey how about if i get a uh um those dune buggies you get a brand new brand new dune buggy and put it together and put a motor in and everything and i could get that stuff to run so he ended up doing that so this is this um a black kid got this dune buggy right here it's called i remember it was called a um, barin buggy according to what my understanding is and this barin buggy this was the they had a molded frame like this but then you had to do it pretty much everything else so this is all he got uh you get the chassis but of course the chassis was for gasoline so he had to modify it modified hit here and there and chopped it chopped it left and right and that's all he did every time he get off work he would stay he would stay in his garage and after everything was done he ended up having a car like this that actually moved so yeah so and then this was um him uh, when he when he got a little bit older driving around with his niece and nephew and stuff like that and here's, here's some more pictures and 
probably wondering, well, who is this guy? And yes, this guy was none other than your boy, Electro Demo. So the reason why I'm telling you this story is that if you have an idea and people are laughing at you, people think you're crazy. This, this was 20, 29 years before Tesla. Um, everybody who knows my past, they know all I do is talk about electric cars. So we know that the Teslas and the Nissans and, and all the new cars are coming out that are electric. You know, I just kind of smile. So the, the more of the story is if you got a dream, don't let anybody stop you. So again, so I hope you, you like this. Um, uh, subscribe if you do. And then I will see you later. Thanks.